welcome back to Universe X. Uh, today we are going to jump into the Weiss deck. And actually, to be honest, I am liking this deck a lot more than I thought I would initially. Um, there's just a lot. And there's going to be a lot of tweaking that needs to be done with the deck because blue, yellow is one of the most versatile color combinations right now. There's a lot of options to pick from and this deck definitely has a lot of things that it could be doing. So the point of this video is to kind of give you like a skeleton frame and show you how some of the interactions with the deck work. And then from there, you know, people are going to be able to take it away, including myself when it comes to building, because I think there is a lot to be said here. So uh, with that out of the way, just want to let you guys know that we are still on the road to 2K. So every bit of support helps. Um, this channel is just going to keep growing. And as we hit milestones, we'll hold celebrations for everybody that's helped it grow. Um, we'll also be able to do bigger and better things, you know, as the channel brings in money, I'll be able to actually just get stuff and give it away. I'll be able to buy more cards that I can not only open on screen, but also go to different tournaments with different decks that you guys want me to play, you know, make the content that you guys want to see. So uh, I'm really excited to be able to further the channel like that. Past that, uh, as per usual, try to give a follow to the official Facebook group for the card game. Um, that's where all these spoilers come from. You can also go to the discussion group where we are currently discussing all these cards. Universe X where occasionally I post, but the Universe X Discord is where a lot of the talk goes down. And uh, yeah, if you like the Dragon Ball video games, I do have a side channel, UniXDB, all that stuff in the description. So without further ado, let's hop into our newest deck list. And um, by the way, if you're digging the deck and you want to spice up, you know, you're in your real life deck when you go to the next tournament, try going over to TCG Metals where you can get a metal card. It's hot, sleek, sexy, weighty, and uh, you can use the code UNIX to get 10% off your entire purchase. So, um, looking at the deck list, like I said, this is going to be rudimentary. Um, just going to be entry level deck list just so you guys can kind of see how it works. Um, you know how the leader is on his front side? You can tap him to play a uh, vanilla card from your front or back. This is going to kind of, or from your deck or drop, you're going to kind of want to use as many times as possible because you want to get the vanillas out of your deck. And then um, you have the, you know, Whis on his back side that can pull them from drop. But, you know, he also is going to be able to untap a Beerus in your energy uh, when your Beerus KOs something by battle. Um, Whis is also on his front side, he can awaken at 3 life, but he can also awaken the moment your opponent awakens, so often he's going to be a turn 2. Um, then, you have got 3 of the 1 drop. Now this guy is a top 3 searcher and most of these cards are gods, but the reason why I have him at 1 is because most of the time you're playing a charge, an energy exhaust charge on turn 1, so I wouldn't really expect you to be able to get him off all the time on turn 1. Um, now this card is amazing because he's going to add 5k and he's going to be able to just draw you a card, and you're going to see how that works. Zamasu de facto go to in this deck don't at me don't ask why um goku at three because he's just that dude <laughs> like um he's going to be it could be vegeta as well but he's going to be able to uh come out of your deck and then also if you see him in hand and you don't want him you can just combo him onto a beers for plays um three zamasu because he is also that dude um four of this beers it could probably go down but this is actually really important for your energy flow um i i apologize <laughs> um and then you've got um, Beerus, Fickle God. He's their check land. He's very important. He's the best charge in the game for this deck. Um, Beerus, Combative, Imp or Combative Impulse. He's also very, very, very neato. Um, you guys were going kind of crazy, crazy over this deck when you saw a card when you saw him. This card, absolutely savage. Um, and if you want any of these effects, you can always go to the, um, the other video where I went over all the blue cards. I'll leave that in the description. Um, four God Ceilings. Uh, again, numbers can change. It's just a frame for you guys to see how these interactions work. Baby Hatchet, Sand Destroyer, Broken, uh, Silent Strike, such good filter, D Magic, and Sensu Beam. And now we're going to take it over to Untap so you guys can see how these cards work in tandem. All right, first thing that's going to happen, we are going to roll to see who goes first. I got a 14, Shadow Opponent got a 13. That means I'm going first. What I want to see is a blue yellow card and a Beerus. That's all I need to see for this to go off. Um, this hand is close. I don't want to charge that Beerus, but um, I will if I need to. This is pretty much what I'm going to need. Um, if I can get a single... I mean, I guess. <laughs> um, I want to be able to play my cards next turn. 
So, did it even shuffle? Okay, yeah. I want to be able to play my cards next turn. So, I'm going to have to charge that Beerus. It's unfortunate. But, you know, Beerus in your energy is actually very important how this deck works. So, first turn, I'm going to Energy Exhaust Charge. A really good card. And then I'm going to check my deck. We're going to activate this. And we're going to find a card. Um, we got two Vanillas in the deck. And uh, we're going to want to use those. We got Baby Hatch X still in the deck. We're missing two of these. So, we'll probably get one when they swing on me. Um, this is Prime. At least we're going to have a beer in the next couple turns, I think. I think, I think, I think. And then, uh, yeah, this should be good. So we're going to hit that, and we are not going to... Did I draw? Oh, I'm so sorry. You literally draw when you tap him. So you would draw and then see what you get. Um, checked everything. I'll end my turn past that. And they'll swing on me, getting me a card. Cool, good card. And then I'll draw for turn. Um, didn't want that vanilla... But we will take it anyway. We'll play this. And then we will tap Beerus. Or tap Whis and we'll draw. Um, again, we are not quite getting what we want here. We're still missing a Beerus. But we got time. We got time. Um, so at this point, it's turn two. A lot of times somebody is going to swing on you at this point. That's just inevitable. Um, if they swing on you and they're awakened, this is the point where you can just awaken as well. You know, my hand's actually pretty set. I want to wake him because I want to use the front side effect to pull the last vanilla out of my deck. Um, but they swing on you. They give you a card. That should be the Beerus. There we go. See, probability is probability, guys. And then, um, you know, I go in for my turn. So untapping to draw. Um, we're going to play the Beerus. This is perfect energy right now because this deck completely revolves around untapping Beerus cards. Um, we know we're going to swing at our opponent. Or we know we're going to swing this turn. So the first thing I'm going to do is give my opponent that vanilla. If you're playing against like yellow or a counterplay heavy deck, you're gonna wanna play your beers first to make sure this will fly. But you're gonna see what this deck is able to do. You know, you play that Goku to their side of the board. After playing that Goku to the side of the board, um, you can then awaken, drawing two cards. Perfect. Um, swinging on that, it's 15 to 15. Uh, combo this week, so now it's 20 to 15. And then I'm going to tap one to combo this guy. Um, at this point, it's 30 to 15. If you want to waste combo power trying to protect a vanilla, go ahead. But if this vanilla dies, what's going to now happen is I'm going to first, I'm going to use this Beerus's effect. He's going to untap himself. He's going to untap a blue Beerus in my energy. And then I'm going to draw a card. Second effect, I'm going to use Whis. He's going to untap a blue Beerus. Third, I'm going to use this Whis. He's going to draw a card because I KO'd something on a Beerus. Third, I'm going to use this guy's effect. He's going to draw a card and play himself. Do you see what just happened with that interaction? Like, that's crazy. <laughs> that's literally crazy. Um, I don't know what to say. That's just oof. Oof. I love it. I love it. I love it. And now you can see how set up I am. I've got uh, Zamasu here, the Eliminator. Um, I can still swing on you again for 15 for pressure. I can swing on you again right here. Um, this is just a really good, good, good vibe. I have the ability to protect things. I have some 5k combo in hand. Um, if you really want to get froggy, you can catch the Zamasi. Counter something, tap something, that's fine. Um, this is where, and I've got the super combos in hand to tap other things too. This is where stuff just gets really out of hand. We get another Zamasu. Um, I don't think I want to charge Zamasu. He's actually a really good premium right now. So I'll charge the Whis. And you just see how we have the ability to go in again. Um, I can tap this man's to draw a card over to the Beerus. It is not. Uh, we will play this guy to your side of the field. Let's see. These guys all... Yeah, this is, this is gross. Um, we're going to do it again. We're literally going to do it again. Actually, hmm, that is the rough part. We really want to use our energy to the best of our ability. And we're not going to be able to do it right now. We literally don't have enough good cards to use our good cards. Um, so this is unfortunate. But at this point, since we don't need to untap energy, I guess that means I can then swing in on something like this. Um... Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. 
yeah we're gonna swing over here and the first thing we're gonna do is tap this and we're going to play that making him a 30k to your 15k um what's gonna happen is unless you want to stop that again that's gonna die and actually if we really wanted to just to use the muscle energy we can combo with the monster but we'll save that for later um we are going to be able to kill that uh this guy is going to untap this yeah you know ah <sighs> see guys this is kind of the issue going into this turn we might even charge a god ceiling because we don't have enough yeah let me take that back because utilizing energy is so important in this deck because you have so much untapped um we, we could have done here instead is play this weiss this weiss will search top three that should nab us yep another beers oh we lost hatch that nab us another beers and does it shuffle oh bottom no okay cool that's unfortunate but we get that um we can now tap and we can now tap and we can rest something of our opponents um at this point we have so many more plays we can do because we've rested one card of our opponent um and we can swing on that vanilla that we put out this time we're going to actually use him because this is worth it um combo the weiss tap and we are going to combo the beerus and now that that happens you know this 30k on the vanilla we're going to resolve everything he's going to untap himself he's going to untap an energy he's going to draw a card weiss is going to draw a card um, this guy is this Weiss leader is going to untap a Beerus and then we are going to draw a card from this Beerus and then he's going to play himself um, That is absolutely insane Like the amount of value there. Um, we can then kind of get another shot in on your leader uh, We can swing here Zamasu tap something else of yours um, if we want to we can super combo here too, but if he kills something he's going to untap one blue energy to active mode uh, We can actually since it's not Beerus locked. We can actually use this one on the trunks um, We can now it, 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 it just gets better we can steal life from here um, We can tap the blue again for Zamasu and This guy is going to draw a card switch his card to active mode like this is how this deck works um you can very very fluidly combo things i can swing here i don't even really need this card we can put them up to 25 if we want to since uh these guys are all kind of doing their thing we can even put these guys up higher we have super combos we have sensus and if this guy kills somebody we're just going to untap another card and we've got the defense in hand to chill we can zamasu somebody next turn draw a card we've got the super combos we can play we've got multiple d magics so let's see how another game shows and then uh we'll move from there so this time we'll be going second. Um, like I said, we want to see a multicolored card. Uh, okay, that's fine now. It's officially fine now because of that. Um, we can actually just put the D magic back because we want to be kind of aggressive. Perfect. This is going to be a hand, my guy. Um, play that. Pass. Uh, well, there, we're going to get our draw for turn. Uh, we are going to charge this Beerus and pass. You know, they'll probably get their swing off. You know, at this point, I think, sorry, I do need to actually hit that to check my deck, see what everything is. Um, we don't have Baby Hatch in deck, so it's in life. We have all three of these. I will play one of these guys. I know it's uh, something you're going to be able to swing with me with, but I'll be able to tap it when I play this next Beerus. So that's going to happen. Um, after that happens, you know, they're going to be able to get this. They might not even want to swing with it because they know what my deck is doing. So they might just swing with their leader. And hope I don't have another Beerus in hand. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's that stuff. Um, and they probably awoken too. So next turn, I'm going to draw. This is going to get out of hand fairly fast. We are going to play this Beerus. After playing this Beerus, we are going to tap that and tap that to play this guy, see if they have any counter plays, you know what I mean? Uh, tap that down. We're gonna activate this to play from the deck. Giving them another swinger, but he's gonna come in tapped. 
After playing that, we're going to be able to awaken, drawing one, drawing two. Perfecto, that's good, that's good. And after drawing two, we're going to swing on one of the Gokus. And uh, we can go up on a Whis, making him 21K, so you have to combo two cards to get over it. Um, we can, it really depends on the matchup, but we can add more pressure, we just might not need to right now. Um, if this goes through though, what's gonna happen is Beerus is going to untap himself, we're gonna draw a card, and then they're gonna put a life bound to the bottom of their deck, and then this Whis is gonna draw us a card, and then our leader Whis is going to untap. Um, and then if we want to, we can just send this at this and see if you wanna keep that vanilla or not. Um, it's just kinda how it goes. It's not bad at all though. Uh, we can definitely keep that. You'll probably want to get rid of that uh, that Whis, but at the same time, I can super combo and tap something down, of course. So there, or that beer. So there's actually kind of some play there that you don't want to get wrapped up quite, quite in. Um, we want to keep Zamasu, but we're gonna start drawing so heavily that we just want to keep the want to keep the energy going. Um, but that being said, we will just play this guy. I think that's just the move. Um, now we can activate Whis, draw a card give you this oh that's perfect that is perfect perfect yep it's all coming together um we're gonna tap two for this we are then going to swing at that after swinging at that we are going to yeah this is where stuff is gonna start going off we're gonna swing here um we're going to combo with Whis, and then we're going to combo with we're gonna tap and play Beerus. So now, this is at 30k on this 15 vanilla. If you don't negate it, that guy dies. Weiss Leader is going to untap an energy. This Beerus is going to untap himself, draw one, and a Beerus energy. This Weiss is going to draw a card, and this Beerus is going to play himself and draw a card. Not shabby, not shabby. And um, we're still not quite done yet because we still have the ability to yeah we, we we still have the ability to do a lot um we could play this guy again we could actually just yeah we could hit this guy oh there's so much this is see this is where it starts getting hard if i want to open up my defenses i could swing on one of your dudes because we did zamasu you zamasu tap something else if there's something to tap and this is a 26k and you have to decide whether you want to combo out of it if you don't he's gonna untap himself i'm gonna draw a card and then you have to bottom deck life a zamasu that's disgusting swing on the thing i just zamasu right for 20k um i mean we could combo on it it really depends on what your board is but either way if you do let that go if i did swing on something if i tap something that you didn't want to get tapped we then untap we can Tap two for our unison. Use our unison's effect to draw one, draw two. Uh, we will put back all the duplicates. So actually, we'll put back this guy. We'll put back that guy. And we'll put back that guy. And then, um, yeah, we have we have access to dimensional um, dimension magic as well as Trunks God Seal. Like, let's say we even if we get two of these out you know we negate something we bounce something you try to play something again you get some awesome we we're okay with this because next turn we're going to draw and uh, i guess at this point we have enough viruses we can literally just like play another one it'll come in tap and we don't really care you can see how this is working from here um we have a lot of things to work with like activate the leader draw a card give ourselves something to swing on after giving ourselves something to swing on you know we can pretty much do anything we need to right here swing with this beerus on that goku and uh we sit and we can tap this and goes a masu he is 30k once again 30k is a magical number in this deck if that happens we is going to untap this blue beerus energy this Beerus is going to untap himself, draw a card, and untap this blue energy, and then this Whis is going to draw another card. And just like that, we are maintaining cruising altitude with our hand. Um, 
that's pretty wild. If anything is tapped, we can do some stupid stuff. I mean, we can swing on your leader. Actually, oh yeah, we can swing on your leader. I wanna kinda of see more options. We can swing with the leader and then press you for 25K, turning something sideways. I don't see why not. And then uh, we can also, after turning something sideways, pressure here again. It's just, we just keep going from here. You can kind of see how it's rinse, lather, repeat. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys some of the interactions the deck can have. Uh, I really did enjoy, like, playing around with this. It It's interesting. And there are some ratios that we can work out. There are some things we can change to better find the match that we're looking for with this sort of deck. But yeah, I hope you guys like the content. I hope you guys got sparked about Beerus, because I am, and we, because I'm sparked about them too. It's pretty cool. And uh, after that, yeah, if you like the content, think about hitting that subscribe button, comment on your own thoughts, like the video to help it with the algorithm, and I will see you guys the next time you decide to join Universe X, because the grind is not going to stop. I don't honestly know anybody that's working harder right now when it comes to this game and content creation. That's just me. Maybe it's my ego talking. Maybe it is. Maybe everybody deserves to be super, super confident about things they're passionate about. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.